The next essential part of surf photography that you're going to need to know is focus modes. And naturally, focus means where your lens is deciding should be the sharpest point in that image. And uh, as, I, as if you watch the aperture section, you'll know that that particular point that it decides is should be the sharpest isn't necessarily the only place that's going to be in focus. It's going to extend beyond and in front of that point. And that's where you use your aperture to control how big that distance is. Uh, and that's a really good creative way of, of deciding which part of the image should be in focus and which parts people should look at. So I'm going to go through the focus modes on this Sony a6500. Um, they're very similar on other Sony cameras. They're actually very similar on any modern DSLR or mirrorless camera from Canon, Nikon, Sony, Panasonic, Olympus, Fuji, anyone. They've all got very similar modes. There's only so many you can choose. So let's run through really quick and I'll tell you which ones I go for. So first focus mode I've got here is single shot AF. Ignore that for surf photography, you don't want it. Automatic AF on Sony's, it's not bad actually. I use it when I'm not doing surf photography. It, it decides which mode you should be in based on what it sees effectively through the camera. But for surf photography, we don't want that either. Um, continuous AF, that's the one. So you want to be on continuous autofocus. Um, it's called different things on different camera models uh, and brands. So you, if you Google continuous autofocus for insert brand here, then you'll find out exactly how to do it. It's one of the main settings, so you won't, won't be hard to find it. You'll be able to normally, there'll be a button on the back of your camera, on the top of your camera that gives you a shortcut. So you can change that really quickly. So continuous autofocus, what that'll do is when you focus on something, and usually you do that by half pressing the shutter button, you can set up your camera slightly differently, but let's, let's use the default. Half press the shutter button, it focuses on something, and then as long as you keep that half button pressed, that button half pressed rather, it will continue to try and focus on whatever's at that point that you select. So the key point there is you select which point the camera should focus on. Um, and I'd suggest uh, if you're just starting out, then I'd, I'd go for the center point because that makes it easy to look through your viewfinder, get whatever it is that you think should be sharp and in focus right in the middle of your camera, half press the button, and it's going to continue to keep whatever's in the middle of that frame in focus. So this can cause issues if you're moving around, if you're bobbing around on a, on a bodyboard trying to shoot, for instance then the middle of that one's going to move around. So there are other modes which are going to help with that. Let's go down. Um, the other modes on here are manual focus. We don't want to worry about manual focus just yet. There is one exception for surf photography where I would use manual focus in every case, and that's with a fisheye lens. So I'll talk about that in the fisheye section. Um, but essentially, you want to um, set it to manual focus and forget it. And that's going to keep be the best for a fisheye. But for every other lens, any longer lens than that, or any non-fisheye lens, I'd suggest going for continuous autofocus. Now, I mentioned autofocus points. This is going to be really important as you get um, a bit more advanced, as you move away from snapshots and just making sure once you've achieved a sharp photo of the waves, the surfers that you're trying to get, then you, you really want to start moving into different compositions uh, and you want to get a bit more creative. That's where your focus points are really going to come into play. Let's give you a really quick rundown of that because um, I don't want you to skip ahead and just and start worrying about things that you that shouldn't worry you until you've got those basics really nailed down. So I'm going to really quickly go into my focus area. On Sony cameras, it's called focus area. There's wide, which kind of covers a big part of the image, as you can imagine. There's zone, which gives you like little sections of the image that if something in this air, basically focus on something in this area, it tells the camera. Center, we've already discussed it, it tells the camera, find exactly the middle of this image and focus on that point. And then flexible spot, so you can choose the spot that you want it to focus on, and that's really useful when you're composing a shot, trying to use some of the rules of composition, which I'll go into later, to move that area of focus out from the center of the image to somewhere else. So we'll cover that one a bit later in composition. Um, and then we've got lock on AF on the Sony cameras, and that's where it's kind of hidden in here. Lock on AF, expand flexible spot. And then we've got lock on AF wide, zone, center. 
lock on AF center is <laughs> a bit of a, it's a, it's a massive feature. If you've got something similar on your camera, you probably will if you've got a half decent mirrorless or DSLR camera. What it does is you point it at something, you can obviously move this, the focus point around as well. But if you select the center one, for instance, lock on autofocus will let you press the button when the subject that you want to be in focus is right in the middle. As long as you keep that focus button pressed, the shutter button half pressed, for instance, then it's gonna try and keep the lock onto that thing and it'll track it around. I'll show you some footage of, um, I think it's the, the, the A6500 doing it with the, the Sony 100 to 400 mil lens. Some footage I recorded straight off the, the sensor of the camera. So you can see where little green dots kind of keeping up and following the surfer as they move along. As you can imagine, this is ideal. This is what you want. So you, whilst I suggest to start with, use that center focus, because there's a few gotchas that you need to watch out for with different lenses and different systems, especially if you're using adapters and things like that. And center focus is the one to just, that you know is gonna be great on all cameras. are gonna have a really good focus mode using the center. Um, but there's lots of different things to consider when you're moving away from the center. But essentially, once you get into it a bit more, you wanna lock onto that, per that person or wave and then just keep going. It doesn't work as well with waves. With people, especially if it's nice bright waves and black wetsuits, there's nice contrast, then the camera can usually find them pretty easily, even on dreary days, and it'll just track them pretty well. I've, I've experienced with, with a, a good native Sony lens and a Sony A6500, it's really good. Their latest cameras, the, the, um, the Sony A6400 and the A9 have an even better lock-on focus, which um, which apparently is super impressive. I'm yet to try it, I'm, I'm really looking forward to. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, a couple of focus modes, basically go for continuous auto focus, center focus mode, and then like all these settings I'm telling you, this is a base point to start with, and it's gonna help you get locked in. And once you're really happy with where you're at with those base settings, then is the fun, you get to change settings and you get to see what creative results you can come up with from that. But there you go, there's your basic uh, focus modes. Um, and like I say, if you haven't got a Sony camera, other cameras will have very similar settings. You just, if you Google those, you'll see the, the menus where you can access those.